OCR Maths and Stats differentiation techniques for C3 and C4. dy by dx is equal to 1 over dx by dy. dy by dx, the change in y over the change in x, gives you the gradient of your graph. The gradient of your graph is not dx by dy. It's not the change in x over the change in y. We have a curve with the uh, equation x is equal to 5y cubed and a is a point on this curve. So the y coordinate here is 2. So 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So the x coordinate is 40. And if we differentiate this, because it says x is equal to, so we're going to differentiate x with respect to y. So it's dx by dy that we work out. So that gives us uh, 15y squared. To take the y coordinate here, which is 2, and to substitute that into here, will not give you the gradient of the graph. The gradient of the graph is given by dy by dx, which is 1 over dx by dy, which is 1 over 15y squared. So if we take the y coordinate here and substitute that into this, we will get dy by dx, the gradient of the curve and the gradient of the tangent. So we get this, the gradient of the curve and the tangent at the point A is 1 over 60. x equals y cubed plus 2 times root y. So x is equal to y cubed plus 2y to the power of a half. So using uh, the index form there instead of the third form. Differentiating. So we're differentiating x with respect to y. So dx by dy is equal to 3y squared plus, if the half comes to the front and multiplies with the 2, you get 1. So y to the power of subtracting 1 from the power there, minus a half. So dy by dx, the gradient of the curve and the gradient of the tangent to the curve is 1 over dx by dy, so it's 1 over 3y squared plus y to the power of minus a half. To get rid of the negative index here, I multiply by y to the power of a half over y to the power of a half, and something divided by itself is equal to 1, so I'm not changing the derivative here by multiplying by 1. So 1 times y to the power of a half, so the numerator is this. And then multiplying both of these terms by y to the power of a half gives So we've got rid of the negative index there in the denominator. When you're multiplying these terms, remember you're adding the indices. So y squared times y to the power of a half, 2 plus a half gives you 5 over 2. And multiplying these two terms, Adding the indices, minus a half 
plus a half gives you zero, so you've got y to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero is one.